Hey guys, a uh, new week has started. I guess I'm gonna do, you know, at least a video a week, but anything else will probably be on demand uh, if uh, people ask me for something. So anyway, the new event is uh, Fortune Wheel and Fuse, which is what everybody wanted. I was playing Devil's Advocate, and I didn't think it was gonna be- I thought it was gonna be Miracle, but, you know, I guess they were nice to us this time. Um, so I have a lot of fusing to do, but I also am planning to- Okay, the most efficient way to do the Fortune Wheel event is to pull, like, 540 right away. And then pull 10 per day for the rest of the event. That's the most efficient way to do it, and you waste- uh, less things. You waste probably... You waste like six tokens if you do it... If you don't do it that way. But that's the most efficient. But, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna pull all 600. Unfortunately, 600 pulls on the fortune wheel gets expensive gem-wise because you have to re-roll the wheel for stuff. Um... So that's... So I'm gonna aim to pull 600. The end result is Reaper and an Undead uh, Artifact. Which I don't really want, to be honest, but the Reaper will come in handy as fodder, and, you know, if I do, I am thinking of raising another Undead, maybe a Ripper, or a Ziawana, I haven't decided yet, so, you know, I might as well get it for him. So, uh, I want to start off by saying the way that you f save up fortune tokens... Um, you need to be VIP 3 or level 90, and you get, and that unlocks the 10 spin, which is you, for 8 tokens, you get 10 spins, and that is the most efficient way to, to do it. If you can't do that, well, it it's really hard to, score, to place well in this event. If you do do that, you only need 375 tokens, because uh, from rewards and all that, you will get... You know, you get 25 plus 40 plus 40, so you get 105 free ones. So all that said and done, that'll put you at 480 tokens, and 480 s tokens to a 10 spin is 600 spins. So, the way that you get those tokens every month, this event comes around about once a month, is you go to the... First of all, let me show you the planet shop. I don't have any in here right now. Um... Anything past, like, stage 5 or 6, so 25 to 30, is worth buying. Anything before that, it'll cost about 35 gems per token, which is more expensive than the other shop. Don't buy those unless you're desperate. But past, you know, 5 or 6, it starts being about regular cost. It starts being three, 30, per 30 gems per token, and you can find a 10-pack for 300, which is lovely if you can find it. The other way is in the shop. If you reroll the shop a few times, I'm going to show you the luckiest shop I've ever seen in my life. I've got two 10 packs right here. And, you know, if you're low on tokens or you're needing some de some desperately, you can refresh the shop right here for 20 gems. Um, you can buy tokens from the shop a maximum of maybe eight times per day. Something like that. It's around that time. That's eight times, including eight packs. So you could get super lucky and buy eight eight packs, but you know you'll probably never ever get that. You'll probably never see more than two or three eight packs in a day at max. Um. So let's see. My wheel has a hundred. Th the best way to do it is to refresh with gems until you have two hundred thousand gold or 100,000 purple, one of the two, whichever one you need more. Uh, I didn't get that. And, okay, I got 300,000 gold. Uh, nah, I'm gonna go for the purple. I really need the purple. Oh, I'm not getting... Okay, here we go. So 100,000 purple, but only 100,000 gold. That's okay. So, let's go. Because, honestly, you're gonna get mostly gold and purple souls from this. That's just kind of how it's going to be. It's kind of... And you should only respin when you pull the, the five star or something or, you know, something else of note in there. I have pulled all the gear, but that's okay. Wow, that's a lot of these yellow artifacts. 
I don't mind that because I'm running out of the blue ones to f to forge with. Oh, another thing is these uh, rune dust. Early on, you won't need it as much, but believe me, you will run out. So don't take that lightly. You will you're gonna want a lot of that. Um, it costs like four thousand to upgrade the the runes to higher levels so kind of it's kind of expensive um i'm not even paying it let me see so i had 479 uh i'm gonna lose track of this somewhere in the middle i think what i should do is roll everything Oh, the reason that I'm willing to spin for purple right now and not gold is because of the fuse event. Uh, you can see I have 100 million gold. That was all from Crusade, and the fuse event gets you a lot. Um, oh, wow. That was 500,000 purple. That is that is very, very much in demand. Uh, you can see that I am not pulling the five star out of this. That's really the only thing that's important. The rest of the stuff, I mean, a three-star purple gear or a four-star shard is not really uh, exciting. The rune dust is pretty exciting. Hmm. I'm going to say I started with, like... 500, 600,000 purple. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna have a lot after this. Okay, so I believe I've spun 200 times. Right, is that right? Oh gosh. Wow, I got no gold that one. Something else to note is there is an achievement for pulling um, five stars out of the wheel. I believe there's one for getting one, one for getting two, and then I think one for getting ten. All right, so hold on. I started with 479, so I have at two thirty. That means I should have spun effectively 300 times. Yep. So I do have to spin all of this and then one more. And that should put me at 104 extra tokens to play with starting for next week. Um, I do not refresh the shop like more with gems, only if I'm very desperate for tokens, uh, which I haven't been this week or this month, I guess. So I don't spend my gems there so much. Boy, I am. They, they just want me to pull all of my jet. All of everything on this. I'm losing a lot of gold doing this, but. Man. Alright, that's it. If I'm gonna do that, then I am gonna refresh my wheel to get the max for both. So, this is what I meant when I said you. Uh, it gets expensive gem wise. I don't care at this point. I'm just gonna spend it because, you know, gems come back eventually oh wow this is this is not good okay 200,050k 100,000 100k what is going on okay here we go 200,000 and 100k good enough that cost me 500 gems to do that's miserable and i pulled everything of note in one spin okay Sure. Oh, only 30 rune dust per instead of 45. That's okay. I can't min max that much. Um, if you do this event to max, you will get 6,000 luck points. That's, you know, well on your way towards any anyone you want to pull out of there. Uh, there's a lot of good heroes in the luck shop. Boy, they do not want to give me a 5-star. 
Oh, well, that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I probably should have said this in the beginning, but I am going to split this into two videos. I'm going to record all of my wheel this time, and I'm going to record my fusing in another video. Wow, so much gold, so much purple. So much purple, and it's all going to go away real quick. Um, I'd like to reiterate that this is not the smartest way to do this event. The smartest way is not to pull all 600 at once, but I'm doing it for the sake of the video to get a nice even count, uh, because I don't mind losing a couple tokens here and there. It's okay. <clears throat> I'm not too, not too worried about it. Huh. Huh. Did not even get one. So a Hester, an artifact. Four, three, two, one, two. So the other, so you get twelve miracle gems out of this. That's kind of, that's kind of the, that's kind of important. That's great for getting uh, ready for the next event. Okay, so. Well, that's 600 spins, a whole lot of resources. You can see I have a Reaper and the thing and the artifact. Uh, fusing, I'm going to do separately. Quite a bit of money to be had here, and I've saved up at least a couple fusions on both 5 and 6 stars. Not much, but I'm going to pull all my shards for this because this event is worth going in all in on. Plus, I really want to uh, 9 star my Scarlet. Anyway, so that's 600 fortune spins, not even a single 5 star. I got 2 out of the event, I which I didn't particularly need, but you know, that's okay. My Reaper is already 9 star. I didn't need that one, but the artifact will be good on whoever it is I happen to put it on. Probably a Ripper or Ziawana. Uh, just for fun, let's pull this. What was this? This is just a stupid artifact. Okay. Waste of effort. Um, so there's that. Um, questions, comments. Oh, also you get tokens out of here. I, I get these a lot too. So, you know, you get, what is it, three per day from this event, I believe? Yeah, three per day, plus your two daily, so five per day. So you get 30 free. So if you start with, like, 340 going into this event, you'll finish it no problem. If you start with, like, 300, you can probably buy enough to finish it from shops and tavern and uh, planet shop and, you know, use up all your books. I have a lot of books that I don't even bother using. If you start with, like, 300, you should be able to get enough pretty handily. Um, so yeah, I'm going to record the fusing video in a bit. Uh, leave me any comments. See you next time.